Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode in the Rayo Vallecano career mode. This is episode number 19 and today we have two games against Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid in a Madrid double here. And with four games to go in the La Liga season, there is still a chance of us qualifying for the Europa League. The next four games in these final two episodes of the season are going to be very, very dramatic indeed. And in today's episode, you're going to see both of these Madrid games and I'm also going to do this episode fully live as well, just for a change and hopefully you enjoy it. Now with four games to go, as you can see, it's very, very tight in La Liga. There are four teams that are really going for the two Europa League spots. Those are Valencia, Athletic Bilbao, Rayo and Celta Vigo. Valencia are almost there and Destiny is in our own hands. But for us right now, being on level points with Athletic Bilbao, only behind on the head-to-head -head ruling, there is a very, very good chance we could overtake them and do the impossible. But it is going to be very, very difficult indeed. And as you take on Real Madrid for the first game of today's episode here, you'll see the team I've picked for this game. I'm going with a 5-4-1. And we're going to park the bus in this game. Now, you may be wondering why that is on the back of three very impressive wins, three clean sheets as well, and also scoring four against the league leaders via Real. Well, the reason being is quite simple. We have a lot of fitness problems right now. It's not too bad. It's not disastrous. But I do predict Real Madrid to win this game. So because of that, I'm going to try something different after we lost to them at the Bernabeu and just try and contain. And if we can get a point from this game, I'll certainly take it. So I'm not going to go for the three points. I'm going to go just for the one point and, um, and not watch Real Madrid hit us on the counter the pace they have just try and sit back dig deep and hopefully they won't be able to exploit us and score goals from range because I'm just going to try and shut off any kind of routes into the penalty area really so that's my thinking behind this game and tactical changes for me you know sometimes they work out sometimes they don't usually I like to be quite consistent with my lineup and my formation but for this game I think special measurements a uh, special measurements a uh, special special a uh, special tactical decision is required to try and keep Real Madrid at bay so first game yesterday then we take on Real Madrid going to be tough but I'll take a point let's try and get it so Danilo's just got a booking for taking down Hermosa I've got to be honest here we've had a very good start to this game 30 minutes in despite being defensive we're looking quite threatening on the counter and a chance here from this free kick Ebert to take it we've got a couple of tall players in our side but I think we've left back our tallest which is kind of strange but uh, still Ebert to take this uh, free kick then swings it into the centre looks for EC oh he's at the post oh can we turn it in yes can we, we can Cornate scored and 30 minutes in we have the lead and Cornate starts again about top scorer Ayosa Perez has made it 1-0 to Rayo we had ourselves a free kick Ebert swung it in EC won the header it hit the post but Cornate was first to the rebound and puts it into the open goal what a start Ebert's delivery was really really good EC won his header it hit the post and Ramos couldn't deal with it Cornate stole in and quickly got to the ball before Real Madrid's defender and the number nine puts it into the open goal and despite playing a 5-4-1 and playing on counter and just trying to defend we've taken the lead against Real Madrid how about this Rayo won Real Madrid nil and we lead at the Estadio de Vallecas get in we've played a backup side against Real Madrid a 5-4-1 yet we lead going into the break how about this is Ebert finds Cornate who turns and Ebert is injured which is a real shame and the referee's going to halt play there god damn it right now as we come towards the end of the season this is not the time to get injuries it's Benzema, tries to play it to his man, it deflects back to him, now Modric through towards Kroos, good build up here, and Real Madrid are back on level terms just after the hour mark, and Jesse Rodriguez has scored their equaliser, we tried to cut it out here, it came straight back to Benzema, really, really nice football there, very, very quick, incisive passing, and Jesse Rodriguez rifles it in, and gives Real Madrid the equalising goal, we were defending so well, but now Real Madrid has scored, and it's 1-1. And here's Kroos through towards Modric and a chance here as he plays back towards Kroos. Great little ball through and Mariano, who's just come off the bench, has missed an absolute sitter. A very, very well-worked move once again from Real Madrid. Once again, working the play, working the play, working the space and playing the ball out wide. But a great chance there for Mariano and he couldn't even hit the target as we still are level. And Bebe skips round one here and rolls it through towards Konate who just held his line. And Konate could be through with the fake shot. Man at the far post is in Barber. Headed away but it will drop towards Aitura and that shot is blocked. And we'll win a corner. Gotta say despite playing a 5-4-1 we're looking quite threatening on the counter. 
And we scored from our last set piece, so maybe from this one as well. Tito to take it, swings in a free uh, corner towards Konate. Oh, it's headed off the line by Isco, and Ituru's header will be dealt with off the line as Konate almost scored his second goal of the game. I've got to be honest, you know, playing this 5-4-1, we've been very attacking, very adventurous in this game. It is still 1-1, a great chance there, but Isco stops Real Madrid from going behind for a second time in the game, and in Barber's shot goes into the side netting as we are still level with 17 minutes to go. This game is there for the taking. Who's going to win it? And with 13 minutes to go, we are still level at 1-1. Kroos on the ball, plays it back towards Sergio Ramos, through towards Modric. And Modric tries to turn Itura, plays it out wide towards Vazquez. Ramos through towards his teammate. Modric, what a save by Kepa, turning it behind for a corner. What a debut year our young goalkeeper has had. Another fine save there. And that is going to do it then. Final score here at the Estadio de Vallecas. Rayo Vallecano 1, Real Madrid 1. And I would have taken a point before the game, but we we took the lead in this one through Conate in the first half. Jesse Rodriguez would equalize just past the hour mark in the second half. And in the end, a draw. I'm pleased with that. But I must say, I thought we played very, very well. And on another day, despite being so defensive, could have nicked all three points. Very, very pleased with the effort, though. You know, despite playing a backup side in this game and changing the tactics as well, sometimes that can backfire for me. But I actually thought we played very well. And look at these stats as well. On another day, you know, we could have and possibly should have won the game as well. 11 shots and 7 on target. We had a header cleared off the line by Isco. We had the side netting late on as well. In the end, you know, a draw, don't get me wrong, I'm still pleased with it. Like I said, I would have been at the start of the game. But, you know, we possibly could have won that game. And maybe I'll really missing all those chances come the end of the season I guess we'll have to wait and see but still man the match possibly Konate I thought he had a really really good game and of course scored our goal as well almost scored a second too had Isco not headed his header off the line but I must say I was really impressed by Issy who somehow only got a 6.1 God only knows how. And also Sainz, uh, he got a 6.9, is that how you pronounce his name? I thought he played very well too. So not entirely sure, maybe one of those three, but I guess it's not too important. But still, moment of the match, probably would have to go to, not entirely sure, maybe possibly the late Kepa say, which is pretty decent, or maybe Isco's uh, headed off the line. Um, we had a couple of chances really late on to win this game, so possibly this one, which would have given us all three points, how we managed to convert it. But uh, still, I guess, well, I guess once again, it's just another game where I have to say the problem wasn't I didn't create enough chances but the problem I've had all FIFA long is that I simply didn't take the ones I got my finishing this year has just been absolutely atrocious still 1-1 the final score we'll take it it's not a bad result and with three games to go we still have a very good chance of qualifying for the Europa League and as you can see the league table as well, we have Leapfrog Bilbao and gone into 6th place. But they do have a game in hand and so does Celta Vigo as well. So I'm not going to celebrate too much because a win would have been magical. But again, a draw is not a bad result. You can see Ebert's going to be out for four weeks of a sprained ankle. Still missed the rest of the season. That's a shame. But yeah, a draw is not a bad result, especially against Real Madrid at home. Don't know why I'm downplaying it really. But uh, still, a win would have been crucial. And of course, leading by a goal and having so many chances too. I am still a little bit disappointed that I didn't manage managed to score more than the one goal we did still and so as we come into the second game of today's episode then we do indeed take on Atletico Madrid here away from home they right now are going for the title and if they win this game will go on level points with Barcelona and Villarreal with two games to go but of course for us we don't care about what they're trying to do we need to return to winning ways in this one and try to once again take momentum as we go in search of that Europa League place so coming to this game playing the park the bus in the last game it's going to black here playing the park the bus in the last game actually worked out for us but for this one we will revert back to our normal 4-2-3-1 hope for a change in fortunes I feel as though we can get the win we beat them at the Estadio de Vallecas by two goals to nil and in that game we won pretty comfortably as well so despite being away from home I do fancy our chances you know they, be, they may be in third place right now and could go on level points with the two teams above them but I fancy to our chances coming into this one so come on Rayo let's return to winning ways and claim an absolutely a massive victory here Nacho picks up the loose ball and finds Mera helps it on towards Perez who goes for goal and All Black turns it behind at his near post our top scorer trying to beat the giant goalkeeper there with a snapshot very good save still nil nil and from the corner it's headed away he's on Beelis through towards the skipper Traz Horaz and he'll poke it through towards Bain and there's men out wide here in space as Bain finds Bangura who tries to get onto his right foot and does here and Bangura pokes it through towards Perez what a chance for our top scorer surely oh he's at the post it's headed uh, not headed away it's cleared away and then it's headed away by Jimenez 
and a Fletico Madrid clear off the post from our top scorer Perez. That was a golden chance early to take the lead as Bainer perks it through towards Hernandez and we do take the lead straight after Perez hits the post. Pablo Hernandez who's been in really good form of late opens the scoring with his stronger right foot and finds the back of the net just minutes, well seconds really in real time after Perez hit the post. I was thinking what a chance, we've missed a great opportunity or I've missed a great opportunity I should say but Pablo Hernandez opens the scoring and bails us out. Nice ball inside by Boehner here, threads the needle perfectly and there is Hernandez with a first time strike into the back of the net. That's goal number 7 this season for our number 14. He's actually had a really really good year for us and his recent run of form has been very impressive. 1-0 to Rayo, what a star. Can't get too ahead of ourselves though because like in a Real Madrid game we took the lead in the first half. I think around about that time as well or maybe just a few minutes after that but unfortunately we couldn't hold on to the three points but still we'll certainly take that goal and be very pleased with it here away out of Vicente Calder on the mat does so well to just body check Juan Fran off the ball whose complaints are not going to be listened to got to say a match has been a brilliant signing for us in that January transfer window as Bangura finds our goal scorer Hernandez through towards Nacho and a great chance here Perez making a run Nacho gets tackled it'll come back to him here Nacho on the ball so much space to take time and shoot and it's all black with the save that fell to the wrong person really our left back going for goal all black with the save save and we still lead by a goal and just like the Real Madrid game despite being the underdogs we're full of value for this lead we're looking so menacing when going forward but again hopefully we won't rue miss missing all these uh, chances here as Griezmann takes around Merrin he could be through here to make it 1-1 Kepa comes out and unfortunately right on cue Atletico are back on level terms I just made a, missed a golden chance with Nacho they go on the counter and Griezmann puts them back on level terms. I can't believe it. He takes it around Mera, beats him for pace. It's a brilliant show of pace from Griezmann. Make no mistake, Kepa comes out to meet him. I think he got a touch on the ball, but couldn't stop the shot from coming in. And the French striker makes it 1-1 with his 19th goal of the season. And our lead lasts all of eight minutes. Well, that is so, so frustrating, man. Seriously, we'd actually had a really good beginning to this game. But just a momentary lapse in concentration. And that's all it takes for a great side like Atletico to get themselves a goal as Bangura crosses the wall into the centre. Oh, that almost went in. All Black spills it. And in the shot is saved. Comes back to Hernandez. And again, All Black makes a brilliant save. Three in quick succession. Twice from Hernandez and one from the cross, which almost turned into a shot. And it is still 1-1. My word, these Madrid derbies, seriously, very action-packed. I can tell throughout this entire series, both of these Madrid derbies, every single game is going to be fantastic. Still 1-1. And I won't be mad if we go into the break on level terms but after such a great start if we can see the second goal I'll be furious but a chance here to get ourselves back in front Hernandez over top towards Perez great first touch good second touch Perez bears down on goal Perez goes for goal and finds the goal Ayosa Perez puts us back in front and our top scorer has done it again Atletico Madrid 1 Rayo 2 and we take the lead once again just before the break what a finish it's a brilliant ball over top by Hernandez towards Perez he scored our first goal he set up the second and what a finish that was by Perez. All Blacks had a really good first half but Perez says to Griezmann I'm not letting you win that golden boot. They both have 19 for the season and one in the game. It's 2-1 and we retake the lead here at the Vicente Calderon. Well done Perez. It's Griezmann down the left-hand side for Fletico. Tries to turn Ivan Lopez and does. And gets himself inside. Oh, it's just too easy. It's just too easy for Fletico. Nacho does really well, though. But Verratti has somehow beat Kepa in the air. And the little Italian has put Fletico back on level terms. It's really poor defending from me. Griezmann gets inside. Nacho does well, but... Kepa, I mean, come on, mate, seriously. He's had a great season, but his aerial ability is something which needs to be worked on. I mean, honestly, Verratti is a very small player, and you're a goalkeeper well over six foot. You've got to deal with that. It's 2-2. Two -two. Atletico are back on level terms. I'll take the blame for some shambolic defending. Certainly no denying that, but that is a terrible piece of goalkeeping. And it's a shame as well, because it's been a very long time since Kepa's made a mistake, but... Oh, I mean, that goal should have been avoided. And our left-back, Nacho, is injured as well. I don't know when that happened. As Vieto goes for goal and Kepa saves it. I don't know when Nacho picked up an injury, but sadly, it looks as though his game is going to come to an end. 
and he'll need to be subbed off. That is just <laughs> two injuries in two games, man. This is not good at the end of the season. Good tackle by Osby. And he finds Travis Hall as through towards Bangura in a chance here as he goes for goal. And All Black turns it behind for a corner. And that will be the end of Nacho's game as Tito comes on. Ten minutes to go. Will one of these sides win the game late on here as Griezmann finds Koke floating across the centre. Travis Hall can only help it on towards Fernando Torres. And it's Torres on the ball. And can we get the danger clear here? Cross comes into the centre. And the header... Goes straight to Kepa, thank God, as we are still on level terms. The draw isn't bad, we can't afford to lose. But it's Travis Horace through towards Bebe, off the bench here, and a great chance. Perez making a run. Oh, this is it. This is it, surely. Perez to win the game. Seven minutes to go. Finds the bucket of that get in. And that will surely, surely be that. We're in front for the third time in the game. And who else but our top scorer, Ayosa Perez, will win it for us. Great ball by Bebe. Perez runs through, and he keeps his composure. Beats Jan Black for the second time in the game and finds the back of the net. Oh my word, we've had chance after chance after chance and I was thinking just like the Real Madrid game, we're probably going to ruin missing all these chances and miss out on two vital points but instead we're going to claim all three surely, touch wood, with Perez getting his second goal of the game to surely win it. What a game this has been, 3-2 to Rayo, let's not throw it away again. And that's Bebe controlling that throw and finding Tito as well. Subs linking up and now Conate off the bench on the ball here. Rolls it through towards Perez. He's on a hat-trick here, Oza Perez. And he cuts inside and Perez could be through here. Space is open up for Perez. Surely he's found the back of the net. And Oza Perez is going to get a hat-trick. I think his first ever in a Rayo shirt. And that is going to do it. What a way to end this game. Two late goals for Perez. We'll wrap up the points. Atletico 2, Rayo 4 will complete a double against them in the, in the first season with Rayo winning both home and away cuts inside there works his way inside and what a finish by Perez into the top corner it's goal number 21 in his debut year for the former Newcastle striker 4-2 to Rayo oh thank god that in this game we will be claiming all three points and deserving them as well and that will do it then. Final score here away from home against Atletico. Atletico 2, Rayo 4 and what a fantastic performance. And we thoroughly deserve the three points in this game as well. Perez with a hat-trick. And again, I do believe the first of his short career here at Rayo. He'll go ahead and claim the match ball from the referee for his fantastic performance. He hit the post as well in the first half too. Good about four in this game. But uh, still, what a fantastic performance that was all round. And from Perez as well. We claim a massive, massive win. What a big victory. And with just two games to go, we may well have snuck in to that final Europa League place. Let's hope so. And once again, just look at these stats. I would have been livid had we not won this game like the Real Madrid game because back-to-back -back against the two Madrid sides who are far stronger than us right now, we put in amazing performances and when going forward, we're so menacing, so threatening. But this time, only this time, we kept the win and uh, and get the three points. So why did I do that? Um, still, really, really important win that one. So pleased with that. And there's no denying that Perez desires, deserves man to match for a hat trick. What a performance from the former Newcastle striker as he helped us claim a massive, massive win. And moment of the match could have been any of his goals, but I think I will give it to the one which we all thought would turn out to be the game winner in the 84th minute. Great through wall by Bebe who I must say I might look into bringing back for next season from Benfica on a permanent deal he's actually played pretty well and been a good score player for us still a brilliant finish by Perez as he ran through one on one kept his composure and delivered the three points for Rayo in an absolutely massive massive game so final score 4-2 we get the win and let's go ahead and find out if we are going to be staying in sixth no win not because Athletic Bilbao beats Celta Vigo so it's good to see Celta lose but only at the expense of Bilbao winning we would have liked that game to finish as a draw, really. And it does mean with two games to go, we stay in uh, seventh place with Bilbao in sixth. And it seems as though now Celta probably won't catch up. So it's going to be all about Bilbao or Rayo. Who is going to qualify for the Europa League come the end of the season? Who's your money on? Let me know in the comments. Oh, my word. What a fantastic win, though, that was. We still have a chance. Two games to go. One episode left. Come on, Rayo. I want to qualify for the Europa League. And we will end today's episode on the back of one of our best performances of the season as well. So I want to say a big thank you for watching today's episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. It was, of course, a little bit different to normal uh, doing it fully live. I hope you did enjoy 
this one. Uh, do let me know in the comments section down below what you thought to it. Um, I guess with FIFA 17 coming uh, around the corner and uh, due to be released uh, at the end of next month, I am starting to think about how I want to do my videos for FIFA and whether I want to change my commentary format. So let me know in the comment section down below your feedback, what you thought to it, and uh, whether you enjoyed it or not. But thank you for watching the episode regardless. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then please leave a like. There's only one episode left in the season. It will feature the final two games in La Liga, where we still have a chance of qualifying for the Europa League and having European football the Estadio de Vallecas next season. So thanks for watching today's episode. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then please leave a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you for the next episode, the final one of the season, very soon.